plaintiff, Daniel Kaiser, says the defendant is his daughter, and she's been in a toxic marriage for eight years. Daniel claims he rented a house to the defendant and her husband, but they moved out after the defendant's husband left her. He's suing for rent and utilities. Defendant Shelley Haynes admits that her estranged husband had issues with drugs and says that during an argument, he kidnapped their children and Daniel took his side. Start with you. Me and my wife are here and our daughter, Shelly. It's a really tough time for our family right now, but she's been in a tough relationship for eight years now. It's been very toxic for her. There's been, um, she's been really depressed, anxiety. I believe there's been drug use in the past. Uh, marital issues. I believe that her estranged husband is still addicted. And I believe in my opinion that he's still using meth and that is contributing to the reason why we're here. And how do you uh, know he was using drugs? His, uh, his behaviors, his withdrawal from the family, the rapid late weight loss, the bug eyes, uh, just antisocial. I sound more like crack. <laughs> it could, your honor, I've never seen them him. Well, I've seen it. Okay. It is crack. <laughs> crack it is then, Your Honor. Go ahead. And so through the relationship, it's we've been there for them, for Shelly. Every time there was an issue, we tried to help them out. And we've come to the point of why we're here today. It's to the point where we're suing them separately because I don't even want them in the same room together. And I don't want to be part of them being together. So we're suing the okay. two of them separately. And that's why we're here. And we're here to try to to try to put this piece of the puzzle behind us to move forward. Wife are here and our daughter, Shelly. It's a really tough time for our family right now. She's been in a tough relationship for eight years now. It's been very toxic for her. She's been really depressed, anxiety. I believe there's been drug use in the past. Defendant Shelly Haynes says the plaintiff is her stepfather. And she claims after her estranged husband kidnapped their children, the plaintiff took his side. You want to give me some background, ma'am? My stepdad married my mom when I was about 11, and they moved out of state right after they got married, so we didn't have a great relationship. So I guess it's always been pretty rocky. And I think when we finally got to a good place was about the time I got married, but Dan seemed to take my husband's side a lot. At the about beginning what? of our, like, uh, when we would get in a fight, my husband would just take off with the kids, move to another state, and keep the kids from me. How and long would he keep the kids? Oh, more months. than a weekend? Oh, yeah, months. Really? Mm -hmm. But you're... Yes. Your Honor, I you tried to You let your be... grandkids go with a crackhead? <laughs> well, your, your Honor, at that point in time, yes, because I have... He didn't believe he was a crackhead. I didn't. Time. I didn't take sides, and at that point in time, they You did. Both, she yeah. said you it, supported yes. the grandkids' father, no it, good father. It's because they were both doing irresponsible things, and they were both, and at that time, the, they had been- How old were the children? Uh, at that point, the one- One, two, twin, three. But she had left the home, they had been evicted, and the only place for those kids to go that would have been safe- it Was, was with him. Was to his parents' house or to our house, and he wasn't letting them come back with Go ahead. us. So you lost your children from time to time, more yes. than once. Uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, so how'd you get them back? He came back. He came back. He ran out we of crack. We reconciled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we reconciled, and then um, my parents tried to help us by letting us uh, rent their house, and then it happened again. He took the kids again recently, so now we're here trying to... How long ago did he take the kids? Two months. What have you done to follow up with that? Did you file any complaint? Go to... Yeah, yeah, I filed uh, for divorce and temporary orders for that. Okay, all right. That's pending. It's in progress, good. And would you uh, agree that he was a drug addict for most of uh, you all's relationship? Probably half of it, sure. Okay, all right. And sir, why are we sentencing him for rent and utilities. Pardon Sorry, me? why are we suing her? I'm thrown off a little bit. I think I said sentencing her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> utilities. I was, yeah. You know, for the last week or so, I've been struggling. My life has really been in disarray because I haven't been able to, my assistant 
took off two weeks, my right-hand man. Oh, I rely on him okay. for everything. He took two weeks off vacation. I really? guess I was thrown off because he had the nerve to show up here in my courtroom <laughs> right there. How you going to show up here and you don't do my work? My see? life is in disarray. I ain't got nothing done. I miss <laughs> meetings, miss airplane flights. Then you got nerve to show up in here. Go ahead. That's all right. I'm going to get you, Doc. <laughs> I promise you. Go ahead. So the reason we're here today is in 2017, <laughs> Shelly and her family were living in Houston. They lost their house and everything because of Hurricane Irma. So we invited them up to come live with us. We had a four bedroom, two bath house, and we wanted to help them get back on their feet. So they came up, they started living there. It's just me and my wife. We're trying to downsize anyway because I'm getting ready to retire. So they wanted to, to buy the house. We wanted them to have that house to get on their feet. It was perfect for them and the four children everything that seemed to be back on track with them and their behaviors. Yeah. So we had them sign a contract that uh, on August 1st of 2017, that by August 1st of 2021, that they would take the house and put it into their name and that they would continue to make the mortgage payments of 1,035 every month, plus a $50 extra payment for like a down payment to us for what we had in the house. And they all agreed, we signed it, we moved on, and things didn't work out so well when we did that. Tell me what did happen. You say it didn't work out. How do they owe uh, the rent and utilities to well, the tune of 3000 He went on vacation in early June to visit his parents in Texas, where he had grown up his whole life, where he had more crack connections probably than where he was living in a small town in Wisconsin. So he went back there and was supposed to be gone for two weeks, and they had round trip tickets for him and the girls. Well, after the two weeks come and go, we got a text message from him that he was staying in Texas and he was not bringing the girls back mm. and that uh, they were shutting the utilities off and everything to the house and it was no longer his problem. Wow. It, tough. So that was, we, when we found that out, we went and sat down and talked to Shelly and I said, you don't have a job, you don't have a car, you don't have money, you can't afford this place. So she agreed that she needed to move out. So no, I didn't agree, ever. Okay. She signed a 28-day notice. You see it, please. Because we went to the local courthouse and we had a 28-day notice to evict. We had it served on him and she signed it that she agreed to move out because with no job. Yeah, no ma'am, you did sign it. I signed it, yes. But when he said but you I didn't agreed to it, you said you didn't. Originally, when we... We sat down okay, and talked. Okay, we're talking about ultimately, not originally. How old were the children? Uh, at that point, the one, one, two, twins, three. But she had left the home. They had been evicted, and the only place for those kids to go that would have been safe it was, was with he, him. Was to his parents' house or to our house, and he wasn't letting them come back with us. Defendant Shelley Haynes says the plaintiff is her stepfather, and she claims after her estranged husband kidnapped their children, the plaintiff took his side. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I, she signed this. this, this, this she signed. And it. what happened? She moved out in. I'm not sure the exact. The, the exact she date. agreed to move out by July 31st. She but she was out. out before that. Okay. Okay. And when we moved out, Your Honor. Okay, we took nothing but our clothes. Got it. Let's talk about the, the um, utilities. Okay. Shortly after we got the text message from Crackhead, uh, <laughs> we found out that he called up the electric company and had the power shut off. And then we got a call from the village of Centuria, where we live. It's a town of 650 people. Uh, that they were shutting the water and the sewer and the trash services off because the NSF check. Mm -hmm. And us being the homeowners, it now... Re Falls on us. To you. Mm -hmm. So I went down there and we paid the three hundred dollars, the twenty-five dollar NSF. What's the check. total amount for the utilities? Nine hundred and eighty dollars, Your okay. Honor. Okay. And why are you suing for August if this says up to July thirty-first and they moved prior to July thirty-first? They basically abandoned the house on us and left us with no, everything in the abandoned. house. They fulfilled the agreement. We had a contract that they were supposed to pay the mortgage payment from of 1035 every month till July uh, till August 1st of 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying but we had to all of that was me, all of that was superseded by this. This final agreement. Okay. Do you have a defense against the utilities and July's rent? 
uh, July's rent, I tried, I offered to pay, or I said I could come up with it by the due date. He wouldn't give me that option. He said, nope, you can't afford it. We got to sell it. Too bad. All right. And the utilities, that bill the, was the, accumulated during you all stay? Yes, but it was in our name. It's not in his name. He didn't have to pay those. But he did pay it. All right. Yeah, Otherwise, he as he said, it will revert it back to him anyhow. All right. And so I'll grant your judgment, sir, of 1035 plus 988. 2023. 2023 is your judgment. That represents the one month in July and the utility bills. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. We love you, Shelly. We just... I love you. I love you too. I'm glad this is resolved. Let's move on. Hope so.